Good morning, friends. Cheryl here with Ink Pulp, and it is another art before breakfast. Well, I just rolled out of bed. I didn't even see what time it is, and I slept really late today, so I think this time change is still not caught up with me. So here's today's plan. I was really struggling with what am I going to make today, and I thought I would take one sheet of 12 by 12 paper, cut it into tag sizes, and just see what different things I can make out of one sheet. This is pretty heavy cardstock, and then I'll back it. And I won't back it um, on camera because that'll take a lot of time, but I'll put a backing on it to make it a little stiffer. But the cardstock is pretty. Um, so six by or twelve by twelve. So let's do four inches. And four inches and four inches and then let's do four by five and a half and then do a couple of bigger ones okay so I've got all of these now in tag sizes and what I need to do is um, cut them down. And I used to have a card that had the corners cut off of it so that I could make my tags easily. But I am not seeing it handy here. So let's, um, well, let's just start with one of these little ones. And we'll... Just cut it down. I'm going to make a very concerted effort today to stay high enough to be in camera because I know I tend to bring my work down close to me. That's eh, pretty close. All right, so here we go. So I have a base that kind of has some uh, pattern to it, and I did that on purpose so I didn't have to completely cover the base. So let's see, what do I want to do here? I'm just going to look around my desk and see there's a turkey. We could use that. And then I've got this Hmm. It's not quite long enough. Ooh. Now this, I gotta get some of this white stuff off of here. Here's some map. This is upside down, but does that really matter? We could do the birds and a map. And then have that back side. I love this look where you have the paper coming down on one side. I tend to do that a lot, if you hadn't noticed already. Um, so let's ink this up. And we'll see what this looks like. Okay. All right, let's put some ink down on this guy. And come on. All right, let's put some ink down on this guy and I'll use the, this is tacky glue. This is not art glitter glue. I had purchased a long time ago before I ever moved to this new house. And that's been over two years ago, about two and a half years ago, almost. Um, I had purchased a huge bottle of Aileen's tacky glue. 
and I just decided I needed to use it up. It's just been sitting. So that's, um, I do have a brand new bottle of Art Glitter Glue, but um, I, uh, Decided I'm going to use this up instead. Use up what I have. Okay, I like that. Let's cut this baby off. And this one. So this is something new for me. I haven't come in here on one of these mornings and just started something where I had no clue what I was going to make this day. I usually have something in mind but I just couldn't think of anything definitive this morning. So I thought we'll just play. I like this idea of using up just kind of what's around me on my desk. Um, get rid of some of these scraps because we're always making new scraps, aren't we? It just seems like scraps multiply. They're like bunny rabbits. They just multiply. No matter how many you use up, there's always more. Okay, let's put this guy down here. Okay, I'm just gluing things down. I'm not laying the whole thing out. I, um, I'm just laying things down to see what comes of it. I might want, if I can find a tinny person who is sitting, no, that's too big, these large ones are too big, let's look at the medium people. Let's look at the mediums. If I can find the right image sitting on the um, bird, I think that might be kind of fun. There, there's a little girl sitting on the back of the bird. What do we think about that? I like it. Now, let's find some other pieces that we can put behind her. I have some um, let's see what do I want to put behind her let's nope because that covers up the bird's head but if we tear it, this is some um, reproduction ephemera. So if we put that right behind her like that, that gives her something in the background. And then we need to find some other pieces. I can put another piece of the map behind her, like it's kind of going across. I like that use up this little itty bitty scrap that I made. Okay, I like that. And we gotta ink this guy up. And she's a coming together. Do any of you craft like this? You just sit down at your desk and look at what's around you and just try to make something out of the things around you? been doing a lot of that lately and some of the things I've made have been really pretty I've really enjoyed them 
Okay. Let's do that. Let's put her on there. And then we need just like a label or something up here. Let's find my... Oh, a label and then maybe something down here like a mushroom or something. So let's see what we've got. Um, what colors have I got here? I always tend to go just to the browns. I'm really a pretty neutral girl. But let's see, here's some There's that. Nope, that might be a little too big. I don't want it going all the way under. Ooh, how about some of those? Oh, I like that going that way. And then I wanted to see if in the stuff that I have been fussy cutting, they're all kind of little, but that might be okay. I've got some little mushrooms. Nope, that just makes it look really cluttered. Let me see in my mushroom stickers, because the stickers tend to be um, hmm. I'm not seeing, oh, there they are. Um, the stickers are a little lighter. They're not so in your face, um, especially these washi stickers. And so maybe... And maybe if I put them kind of off the page... No, I'm not sure about this one. I like this, and I am gonna cut this down just a little bit. I don't like all of this extra white on here. I'm kind of a fanatic about that, at least on this one edge. Because it'll go off the side, so at least this one edge. We'll do that, okay, I like that. Now I still have to find something to go across the top. And I think I need something that's a little less busy. Let's look at some of these. Nope, not that. Some of these that have some dates on them maybe we could use maybe a latitude longitude nope I don't like that either don't like that that looks like a prison number I like that. It's funny how you see something and it just looks like the right thing. And those other things I didn't like, I'll see them on a different layout someday and say, oh, those are just perfect. Okay, let's do some ink in here on this one and then we'll glue everything down. And then move on to the next. So what are we at? 14 minutes. Maybe we can make one more. Okay, I do want to ink around her for the white edges a little bit. Well, it looks like I might have already... No. I thought maybe I had already inked around her, but I didn't. All right. 
so let's see that's down we got to put this down next had to clean out my nozzle this morning on my glue it um it had gotten dry then i had to add a little water to my glue because i tend to store it without putting the uh cap on it let's put this little guy down have you guys noticed a trend with me i really stick to the neutrals and i'm just drawn to them for some reason more so than bright colors although i do some color stuff I tend to be drawn more toward the um, the neutrals. Okay, let's cut that off. Oh yeah, I like that. Coming off the side like that. And then this going to go up just a little bit so it comes in behind her head. So what I like to do in these cases where I have a very specific placement is I will glue down that bottom part. I will turn it up this way and glue this part. That way I get it exactly where I want it. All right. So there's that, get it straight on there. And then let's put her down. And then we will have one tag done. with just some stuff that's sitting on my desk. And then we'll put that up there. And there we go. What do you guys think? Seems like it's still missing something right in here. Not sure what, but something. Something, something. Hmm. There's a little piece of book text. Nope. I don't like that. Let's look in my paper scrap bin here and see if I have anything that might look like it fits. No, I just need something, maybe another something going lengthwise. Let's go back and look in this again. But there's something in here we can find. Um, let's see. Ooh. How about a butterfly? Just like that. I love it. I love it. I love it. It just fills in that space. It's not too cluttery. And I haven't used any of these butterflies yet since I cut them out. So I'm glad to be using one. Let's see, where do I want it? Right there. 
All right, what do y'all think? And then I'll put a tag topper on it. Um, I, I want to make another tag, so I'm not going to put that tag topper on today. And sometimes I don't put them on until I actually use them. Because I don't know what color journal it's going to go in. Oh, you know what, though? Let me look one thing. I might be able to find something really quick. Um, I've got my little box of scraps here. Little tiny uh, lace and fabric scraps. Maybe I can find something in here that I like. It's too little for that big piece. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything right off the top here. So I'll um, come back and, and do that another time because I don't wanna take up all my creating time looking for a topper. So I'll, um, there's one tag done. Let's do another. I'll just use this as a template. There we go. All right, let's see what else I have laying around my desk. Oh, we're at 21 minutes. I need to hurry, hurry, hurry. I need to hurry. What about... Some lace, maybe not that bright white lace. Oh, here's a fun piece. Maybe we can put this down. We can put this down here. We can put some maybe I've got my old die cut flowers here. I don't know if you guys can see these, but let's see what I've got in the die cut. So maybe we can just have some little flowers coming out the back of that. And then these little things get all stuck together. It's the only bad thing about them. I cut up a whole bunch of these a long time ago and then I just use them periodically as I need them. Can't get these apart and this is the one I want. Come on. about that and then maybe this one and then we'll put something down here at the bottom maybe a person again or something well that's three and three is usually a really good number like this um, idea of going off the page so we'll put that one there and those and then we'll put another one here kind of going off the page a little bit let's see what I've got I don't want blue Ooh, there's something this is the same as this one over here but I could put it, oh, too matchy-matchy. That almost looks like the exact same paper, but it's not. Um, how about... Oh, 
How about something like that? And then, um, I need to find, I'm going to go back to my, actually, um, instead of my medium people, I'm going to look at those Louisa Heinzel people, because they had, there were some big ones there. And, not that one. Oh, here's something. Look at these two little people with their flowers and then the flowers behind them. What about that? I kind of like it. Let's get these down. And I'm not going to ink these little flowers because I don't need to. Um, that's green on the other side. I love these little tiny applicator tips. Do you guys use these little bottles? I absolutely love them for getting in these small places. that down there and find a paper towel to blot up some of that extra ink and then I'm going to go over to this side and put this one on so I can work into the middle. don't know how many of these leaves I'm going to need. So what's everybody got going today? I am making more jewelry for my trip on Friday. And then I got a big order. I sell these little tiny miniature doilies in my Etsy shop. And I sell so many of those. And I got a big order for like six sets of them last night. So, And I know I don't have six sets made up. So... I have to um, take this little piece off because it's floppy. That one there. And then that one there. Yep. Yep, that works. So I got to make doilies. I have some more jewelry to make. I need to vacuum the house today. My dog hair is everywhere. I don't vacuum every day, and I should. Um, but I know it's getting to be a lot of dog hair on the floor when my husband says, when I ask him, what are you doing today? He says, oh, I got lots to do. And one of the things on his list was vacuum the house, so. I said, well, you don't need to vacuum. I'll take care of that. So I got to get it done. That was my hint that I have been dropping the ball. And here we go on this one. All right. Do you guys have these little die cuts? I thought about making little packets of different colors or, or color because sometimes I use you know, printed paper to make these. And I thought about offering some little packs in my Etsy shop. In fact, I haven't added anything new to my Etsy shop in a long time. And that, you know, my word of the year is growth. And that was one of my growth items was to grow my Etsy shop. So when I get back from this little trip I have, um, I think I'm going to have to work on that. Yeah, let's take this guy up a little farther. All right, and then we'll put get rid of all of these 
these little... Oh, I'm at 30 minutes. I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry. And this is nice and grungy and... Ah. There we go. So I'm gonna cut it off about right here. And I do believe this tacky glue will work. This stuff tacks down everything. So I'm just going to go in strips along here. And I'm talking quiet again. I get, <laughs> When I get to thinking and concentrating, I can tell my voice gets real quiet. So we'll beef up the volume a little bit. So is anybody else working along with me doing some? I haven't seen a lot of people posting. Christy has been posting, and I need to get her channel out there. Um, she's been posting. She's been doing the Art Before Breakfast series with me. And I would love it if some of the rest of you would create, get up early one morning, create something, even if you don't do it regularly, just... you know, get up and create something and post it with the hashtag art before breakfast. That would be lovely. I keep searching for it to see if there's anybody else out there. And I haven't, other than Christy, I haven't really seen anybody. So my challenge to you is create one item on camera, post it, and, um, Hashtag it art before breakfast. Like I said, it doesn't have to be. I do it a lot because I like starting my day out this way. Okay, there we go. There's that. Now I need something for them to stand on. I need to have garbage unless I put them no I need to have something for them to stand on well maybe not let's put this down and then I can always tuck something in there if I need to These two are just cute as a button. And I didn't ink them up. I didn't do anything. I'm just putting them on. And yeah, we're going to put them... kind of in the middle. We'll put them right down here at the bottom so that... So I didn't get his little feather feather in his cap. I should have probably taken those flowers up higher, but um, that's pretty cute. Not my favorite, but hey, for an art before breakfast, just pulling things off my desk, it's not bad. Now, I would like to have a little something there. something something there nope I need something long and thin kind of like the last one here we go here's the long thin stuff let's see here I think that works. I think it works. Uh, I am going to ink that up a little bit. I don't 
always ink everything, but these little labels, it really helps them to stand out on the page. So let's just put that there. We'll have our latitude and longitude. I don't have any clue if that matches where these kids would have come from. But I do like them on here. Let's go around and do some ink up. So I didn't get the entire 12 by 12 made but what a fun project pick out a piece of 12 by 12 paper cut it down into pieces and then just make stuff with it i need journal cards more than i need tags so i think i'm not going to work on them right away and i'm certainly not going to do it on this video but um i think i'll do the other ones into journal cards all right there are my two pieces for the day. With no idea when I sat down what I was going to make. Um, just sat down and put some stuff together. Let me pull these up a little bit closer for you. There's those girls, or those that girl and boy, and that little girl. All right, folks, that is Art Before Breakfast. I feel all energized now, and I didn't even take a sip of coffee while I was working. Um, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll take the little challenge to take a piece of 12 by 12 and see what you can make out of it. That's it. Have a great day. I appreciate you all, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, give me a thumbs up on the way out. Thank you. Bye.